All right, we're gonna be looking at limiting reactants today. Limiting reactants are the reactant that keeps a uh, reaction from using all of one of the materials. For instance, if you're making cookies and you need to have three, does, or three eggs and you only have two, you cannot make a full recipe. You'll have to make a third of the recipe, or two thirds of the recipe. If you're making s'mores and you don't have enough marshmallows, you'll have to, that will limit how many s'mores you can make. So that's what we are looking at today is what happens when you don't have enough of one of the reactants. So first thing we need to do is balance this equation. We have four ammonias, five oxygens, four nitrogen monoxides, and six waters. To find the identity of the limiting and excess reactants, what we're going to do first is figure out moles, because we can't do anything until we know moles. Starting with ammonia, 15 grams of ammonia. Change that to moles, we divide by 17 grams in one mole. Assuming I've done my calculations correctly, we get 0.8823 moles. I'm doing extra sig figs. For the oxygen, we have 25 grams of oxygen. Oxygen has a molar mass of 32 grams in a mole. And that comes out to be 0.7813 moles of oxygen. The next thing we're going to do is divide each of those amounts by the coefficient. This is the cheating way to do it. Um, the other way would be to just do a complete calculation for how much of either one of the products you're going to get using both of these. But this way is a little bit faster. The coefficient for the ammonia is a 4. So we're going to take 0.8823 moles divided by 4. The coefficient for the oxygen is a 5. So we're going to take 0.7813 moles divided by 5. When we do that, we get 0.2206 for the ammonia, and we get 0.156 for the oxygen. Okay, which one is smaller? The oxygen is. So oxygen is our limiting reactant. Now, you all need to raise your right hands. I solemnly pro repeat after me. I solemnly promise by all that is sacred that I will only ever use the limiting reactant to calculate the products and the excess. All right, so now we're gonna calculate the products. I'm going to do that actually down here because there's a little bit more space. Okay, we're gonna figure out how much uh, nitrogen monoxide we can make. Our limiting, we said, was oxygen. So we're gonna start with oxygen, 25 grams of oxygen divided by 32 grams in one mole. Now we've converted to moles. The next step is to look at the ratio. We have, I'm gonna erase those and go back to my yellow. My given information is oxygen. We're solving for nitrogen monoxide. So we have a ratio of five oxygens to four moles of nitrogen monoxide. All right, that now has changed to nitrogen monoxide. Now we need to multiply by the molar mass of nitrogen monoxide, 30 grams in one mole. And if I do that calculation, I get 18.75 um, grams, not moles. All right, now we're going to you look at the amount of water. Our coefficient for water is six. So we're going to take 25 grams of water, of oxygen, divided by 32 grams in one mole. We have five moles of oxygen still, but now we have six moles of water. 
all right and our molar mass of water is 18 grams and one mole if i do that math 25 divided by 32 times 6 divided by 5 times 18 i get 16.87 That is how much 15 grams of ammonia and 25 grams of oxygen will make. Now, the last thing on here asks us about excess. If oxygen is the limiting, that means we're going to have leftover ammonia. Just like if we're making s'mores and our marshmallows limit our s'mores, we should have leftover candy bars and leftover gra uh, graham crackers. So, once again, we're going to start using our oxygen, 25, I'm going to do it here, 25 grams of oxygen divided by the molar mass of oxygen, all right? But this time, we're calculating how much we're actually going to use, the excess. And we said that the excess was ammonia. So we're going to look at our ratio of oxygen to ammonia. We have five oxygens for every four moles of ammonia. We use five moles of oxygens. Then we can multiply by the molar mass. And we get 10.625 grams. That is grams of ammonia used. That's what we used. If we have 25 grams of oxygen, we're going to use 10.625 grams of ammonia. How many grams did we have to begin with? Well, we had 15 grams to begin with. So if we want to know what was left over, we take 15 grams minus 10.625 grams fifteen minus ten point six two five four point three seven five grams left over. Okay? So then the next